Okay, so this is the last video, number three, in a three-part series about Trump's uh, gang. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, I hope you do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And uh, I want to tell you thank you very much. So thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this one, so you know, these are the uh, Trump's aides that he directed uh, to ignore that congressional subpoena from the January 6th committee where they're uh, ordered to turn over documents uh, and then to sit for interviews within a week. And uh, so this one will be uh, Mark Meadows. Okay, here's the wiki scoop on Mark Meadows. And like I said, these, uh, he's uh, one of the uh, Trump's gang that he says, don't you tell Congress what you know. And uh, let me scroll ahead on my little tablet here with my notes. Ah, this is it. So, uh, former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Now, Mark Randall Meadows was born on January 28th, 1959. He's a politician who was White House Chief of Staff from 2020 to 2021, and he was a U.S. Representative for North Carolina from 2013 to uh, 2020. Um, he's one of presidents, the President's uh, 45's uh, closest uh, allies, actually. Uh, now, this is disturbing uh, for me because he, uh, well, I'll just show, tell you what I know. Uh, Meadows was born at the United States Army Hospital in Verdun, France, and uh, where his father was serving in the Army and his mother worked as a civilian nurse. Uh, he grew up, and this is from my home state, I'm sorry that we produce these people. Uh, he grew up in Brandon, Florida, and said he was poor. He said he was a fat nerd who dieted after a classmate rejected him for a date. And uh, he attended Florida State University for one year, 77 to 78, and, but for many years he lied, claiming to have a four years bachelor's degree from the University of South Florida in his official biography, which is maintained uh, by the Office of the Historian of the U.S. House of Representatives. You can find it. Uh, actually, he only had a two year associate's degree. So this is the fellow who is the chief of staff. I mean, this is one of the, the, the highest positions besides getting into being the vice president, etc., that can be held. He only picks the best. So this is the Golden Dawn Tarot uh, by Robert Wang and uh, Dr. Israeli Rigardin. This is a U.S. Game Systems card. So these are great. They're, you know, um, from the era of the Golden Dawn. And uh, so the little booklet is uh, interesting. It actually has some interesting history in there about the cards and, uh, and some good uh, suggestions for divination. So there's that. It's worth uh, giving it a read, uh, in my opinion. And then the cards themselves are handy use. I mean, they're biggish, but not too big. And they're beautiful on the back. And then lots of uh, ideas on the front. The uh, One of the people who came up with this design way back in the day, uh, his wife actually did this, uh, the painting of them. So it's obvious that this is, uh, the, the artwork is amateurish in here, but it's still captivating somehow. I mean, I love using these cards. So I do this so you get a chance to see, you know, more of the cards than just the 10 or so that come out in a typical uh, tarot reading and um, maybe inspire you to uh, look at different cards and uh, see uh, what you like. These are, are nice cards that uh, Golden Dawn, they inspired the members each to design cards to their liking. And that's uh, where these cards come from. So we'll get this going with these. Okay, former Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. I've got to tell you, the whole time that I saw him um, as the Chief of Staff for Trump, he looks like a knowledge, he gives the impression of a knowledgeable, competent person. But then when you dig a little deeper or look a little harder at him, Actually, actually, you can kind of see the panic in him, the falseness behind the smile. Um, so, and his whole 
uh, career is based on the false representation that he's uh, more educated than he said he was. So, you know, there are, I'm going to tell you, in these United States, if you put your mind to it, to it you can achieve almost anything. I mean, this, th that whole presidency was the testament to that. I mean, look at that. So, Mark Meadows, three questions. Will you turn over the documents? Will you testify? And will you suffer a legal consequence? So, Mark Meadows, will you turn over the documents? Will you turn over the documents? Three cards. One, two, and three. Mark Meadows, will you be turning over the documents that they want to have? First card off of that is the Seven of Wands. Okay, the Seven of Wands is um, resistance, okay? So this is typically uh, depicted in the Rider Waite deck. You may have seen it. This guy standing up on the cliff with a wand, kind of fanning off six uh, wands poking up at him. So this is resistance. That's what this card is. The next card for this is the Seven of Swords. The uh, Seven of Swords... I'm going to look over here to remind myself. Seven of Swords. Oh, yeah. that's This is typically depicted in the right away system as a thief. Some guy's got some swords under his arm. He's sneaking off from the camp. He's left a couple of swords behind. So this is a deceit, thievery. Interesting. And the last card for whether you'll turn over the documents is, ah, the Princess of Wands. So the Princess of Wands would be the least effective of the royal cards. Wands are actions, motion, uh, planning, uh, moving forward. So this is, is a very reluctant situation. So uh, these three cards are telling me that uh, he will resist. He may try to hide them. But in the end, he will have to produce something. And I don't know that it'll be everything. But yeah, he'll produce something. Okay, next question is going to be, Mark Meadows, will you testify? Are you going to testify? Because remember, providing the documents is presumably then what that committee is going to launch their investigative questions off of, I would presume. Um, so let's see. Let me get to this. Okay, will you testify? Will you be testifying, Mark Meadows? Let's see. Three cards. One. I don't know if I'm going to take this card. I'm going to put it right here in case I change my mind. Two. Three. Leave it on top because it may be that that card has some information for us. We'll see. Will you be testifying, Mr. Mark Meadows? Again, look at that resistance. Wow, a lot of resistance on his part. He's scared to death. He doesn't have the uh, brain power. He doesn't have uh, what an attorney would have to defend this. What was his degree in? His uh, two-year degree was, um, I don't know what it was in, actually. Um, okay, so the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is long-term planning. Ah, okay. And the last card for this is the High Priestess. This is all-knowing, uh, all-powerful, and compassionate. I want to draw that last card. The next card here is the four of coins. And the four coins is trying to hold on to what you've got. So, will he testify? He's going to resist. Okay. He's thinking he can he can stretch this out somehow. The high priestess uh, knows that... Um, yeah, she knows what's going on. So, the, the committee knows... Uh, what's going on and he's going to try to hold on to that i'm going to turn this into a a, a, a diet across so the challenge to the, uh, the the signifier of this is the resistance the challenge to that is the uh three of wands long-term plan so you're going to try to make it stretch out the basis of this reading is the knowledge in the january 6th committee the past of this reading is trying to hold on to your value as long as you can the sky of this reading is a five of coins being left out in the cold and, the, and this is typically in the right of weight deck. You'll see uh, five coins in, in a uh, window of a church, like a, 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 what do they call those windows? But you know what I'm talking about. And then uh, with some people outside in the cold. And then the final outcome is the Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. Yes, you will testify. Say it again. 
uh, the seven of coins is resistance. The uh, seven of uh, wands is resistance. The uh, three of wands is uh, long-term planning, trying to stretch it out. The base of this reading is the knowledge, the high priestess of the committee. The past of this reading is him trying to hold on to his worth with his four of pentacles. The sky of this reading is being left out in the cold with his five of pentacles. But in the end, the final outcome is downfall. He will testify. The last question then is going to be, will you serve some sort of a legal consequence for any of this? Are you, Mark Meadows, going to serve some sort of a legal consequence for any of this? And you know, what's coming to my mind is that um, the expense of all of this is really going to be something uh, very damaging for him, this expense of defending himself. So will you um, pay some sort of a legal consequence for all of this? Three cards. One two, and three. Legal consequence, Mark Meadows. Is that going to be your fate? Strength. Okay. If he doesn't have smarts, if he doesn't have anything else, it looks like he's got this. Next card, King of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, law, King of Swords is coming up against his strength. Next card, five, six, seven, eight, nine of Cups. This is lots of uh, passion. Wow. Let's take one more. Princess of Cups, more compassion. The very weakest of the court cards, um, but uh, she brings forth uh, a message of compassion. She's equal to a valet uh, page. So, message of compassion. So it looks like, again, somehow, there will be he, his strength is challenged by the um, January 6th committee's uh, truth laws and then um, lots of compassion and, the, and an offer of compassion. Yeah, so he's going to get some sort of a, a leniency, I think, in this regard. Interesting. So that's that. So that was the last of that three-part series, and I hope that the next time I have to read on these characters is to let you know who their um, friends are going to be in prison. So let me know what you think. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.